Please welcome our first fight of the evening. This is a pancreation fight with no strikes to the head. In the blue corner, Bobby Clark. Scheduled for three and three minute rounds in the welterweight division. This is a pancreation bow. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet eleven inch tall, weighed in at 165 pounds. This man is a mixed martial artist. He trains at MC Submission Grappling from Jasper, Indiana. It's Bobby Clark. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall, weighed in at 160 pounds. This man is a mixed martial artist. He trains at Hitman from Brazil, Indiana. It's Levi Rego. The free Patrick Davidson in charge of this bout. All right, Josh, we're getting ready for the first night of the evening. Here we first go. Fight. This will be a pancreation bout, by the way, so there's no striking right, to the right, face. Look. Everything else goes. All strikes to the body, takedowns, submissions. Regal in for the big slam. Yeah. Got the takedown. Let's see what he does with it. It's, it's difficult from here being a pancreation. Looks like Bobby from the bottom is, is working for something. There you go. So that, wow. Uh oh. He's wow. He's locked in a triangle. And he's got an arm bar from the bottom. Yeah, you can see the arm bar. The arm bar he needs to he needs to to arch up on there. You go. He's doing it. It's uh, the arm's bent a bit, so he's not able to lock it out. I think I'd commit back to that triangle. Yeah, he's got the he's got the triangle if he wants it. Looks like he's uh he's taking whatever he wants. Hope the kid knows how to submit. Oh, he's out. He needs to swing his leg over and work out of that triangle. There you go. Got work a couple nice solid body shots. He's out. Go back up. Bobby's got some ground. That looks good. These two are beginners, but you can see the experience for Bobby is in jiu-jitsu. 
Levi with the cage, pre cage pressure, working in his knees. Going for that takedown again. Yeah, he went for hip toss. Looks like Levi's on top. Now, right here would have been very beneficial for Levi Regal to get his blood work back because <laughs> he could punch <laughs> the face. Not his fault. Uh, these guys are these guys are doing what they can with this pancreas. Looks like they he's going to let him up. Yeah. Both guys look good. There you go, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks. Levi sticking with the leg kick. Needs to lean in a little more if he wants that to have some more sting on it. Nice body shot by Levi. Hold on, Bobby. Hold on. Hold on for that double. Bobby nice. with the knee to the gut. Nice knee. Trading knees. There you go. Heavy with the hand. See if they're going to work the legs here. Looks like Bobby might reach down for a, a single or a double. Yeah, nice shot there to the gut, too. Yeah. yeah. It was a failed, failed hip toss. Went the wrong way. He does have his arm trapped. I'd hold it. Oh, he got out of it. I'm going to guess he's going to work up to a triangle. Push his face, Bobby. Push his face. There's some body shots. There you go. Grab that arm. Yeah, he's coming up. He's climbing up. He's pushing the face down so he can climb up. Oh, nice body shot. Now, this would have been very beneficial for Bobby right here. Oh, that was on the chin. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. It, it's hard. You know, you train for an MMA fight, and then they Stand tell you you can't Bobby. punch the face. Give it yeah. Looks like he's trying to wear him down on the stomach and maybe swing over for an arm bar. That's mouth. Come on. Get that arm. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he has He's going to step out and go for it. Yeah. All right, let it go. 10 seconds. He's got his back. Yeah. Nice scramble. Good round. I give, uh, I'm going to have to give that one to Bobby. I uh, absolutely he agree. threw a couple submissions in, held him, was almost successful, and uh, was the, the winner in the scramble. So. You know, they both had each other in bad positions uh, as far as being in the mount. With this happen to be a pan pancreation fight, I mean, I think that it could have, who knows. Uh, Bobby at first was mounted, so he'd have had to work out of that. And then at the end, Levi. It's a good, it's a, it's a good exciting advising right there. I'll take some of that. <laughs> good, exciting match. Here's a little bit of, uh, I'll throw this out there. If you want to get your blood work done, you want it back the next day, go through Econo Labs. They're the ones that'll get you your blood work back the following day, and it's very easy to book. You go to conolabs.com, you, you go down the main page, MMA Trio, you click that, you add it to cart, you pay for your stuff, you're gonna get two emails, take the second email on to any lab core, the next day you'll have your blood work. Boom. Very good advice. Or you're gonna be doing pancreation. That's up to you. <laughs> yep. You ready? Nice Levi, solid yeah, Levi, Levi stepped in with the switch step to the mid. Ooh, shin on shin, baby. Nothing good about pummel, that. Bobby, 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 Bobby with the stronger underhook. He's got cage control. Bobby's, he's nailing a few body shots right there. Yeah, they're staying aggressive. He's going to get that one. He's been trying for that. He finally got it. He trapped the legs. You know, Bobby's just a superior grappler on the ground. He's, he's escaping left and right. Gonna work his way up. Needs to pin his back. Needs to pin his back down so he can work on passing or getting up higher. Oh, they switch positions. Uh, yeah. Levi back on top. Levi, Levi in guard, but on top. And Bobby was the more the more aggressive fighter last round from the bottom. So I don't know. Well, I guess it's always better on top. But yeah, he I needs agree. to get busy and, and work because Bobby's pretty crafty on the ground. Breaking down, Bobby. Working for that triangle again. Doing good, not letting Levi jump past his guard. And Bobby does train with uh, Bobby Emmons and the crew, so their jujitsu is there. He's not, uh, he knows what he's doing on the ground. Yeah, the nice guy submissions. So yeah, this stud camp. Yep. I'm surprised he hasn't grabbed ankles yet, that being said. <laughs> Absolutely. You let those guys touch your ankles, then they're theirs. Keep trying to underhook, swing over for an arm bar. There it is. There it is, he's got it. Yeah, he needs to be aggressive and swing him over though. 
There you go. He's got it. Kind of got stuck in a position. I thought he would lock the triangle in on the roll. Let's see what he does with this. I can't see from this angle, but it looks like he's, yeah, he's I can't working see it on. From this side. They're on the opposite side of the cage, yeah. so it's hard to say what's going on over there. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a loose arm bar. So yeah, he's he's got that arm Ooh. again. It looks like it's bent the wrong way. Or that's his other arm. That might uh, be his other arm. Yeah, it is. It is. So his other arm's probably bent just enough to when you get your arm straightened out and they're cranking on it like that, you, you do two things. You either go to the hospital or you tap. So he's going to let go of it. Let's see where he goes. That's the wrong arm. Wrong arm. See, the other arm now, he could he could sit up on him and, 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 and you know, hit the triangle from the top. Oh, he's back on top. There you, go. you know, Levi needs to get busy because he's been fighting submissions the entire round. So in my eyes, that puts him down. He needs to – and there you go, 10 seconds. So Yeah. He's waiting for a takedown. Who do you got, Tom? I don't know. That one's too close to call. I'm going to give that one to Bobby again. Bobby Put, had control most of the fight, so most I, of that round as well. Exactly. Yeah, Bobby was working the submissions. Well, this is going to be the last round. Let's see what these guys can work. corner what would you be telling him he needs to land some some, some solid shots he's uh, been on his back most of the fight yeah I would probably tell him to stay away from locking up a takedown and try to stay on his feet Absolutely. stay on his feet this round and, and land some heavy kicks and strikes to the body yes and legs because I see this as Bobby having these two and if he doesn't change up what he does it'll be the exact same round Bobby steps in with the leg kick. There nice, you go. solid leg kick by Levi. <laughs> Bobby got another chin shot in. Come on, Bobby. Another takedown. Here we are, same position. Levi, oh, no, he's got, he's got half guard there. Push that knee, push that hand. There you go. Bobby seems to be the more experienced, so he's giving him trouble and making him work even when Levi's on top. Yeah, Levi definitely is being. So he's climbing up right now. Back under that leg. Bobby's definitely been the more aggressive fighter this fight. Right, if I was Levi, I'd work the ribs. Yep. I stuck in the triangle again. Bobby needs to, now that he's got that locked in, he needs to move him around. He needs to elevate him. That'll allow him to, to get a little more movement and get him. He's stacked right now. He's stacked up on his head. So he needs to roll him through. So he doesn't have any pressure for an actual triangle right now. But you know what? That's that's attempts right there. And, and this being pancreation, you got to give him credit for that. Right. If I were Levi, I'd try and get this fight back standing up. Yeah, it looks like he's right now comfortable with holding him down. But unfortunately, it's it's not enough. You know, right. you gotta. He's gonna have to work into something or, or work his body. Get out you know? there. Come on. It's like he's trying for a submission of his own. We'll see how that works out. Don't tap that shit. Bobby's on the bottom, but he's still landing some solid shots. Yeah, and he's. It looks like Levi's gonna hang on to that head, which isn't from the position that I'm looking at doing anything. But he's a really. He needs a. He needs to posture up. Get Bobby's head up against the cage and land some body shots. Possibly think about standing up, maybe. Is Bobby still being active on the ground, throwing his legs up? There you go. That's what Levi should have done. Yeah, yeah. So it looks so like he's a little, it back to the it's a, little fa a little fatigued, but let's see what he does. Yeah, he's very fatigued, actually. He, he looks like he is fatigued. Okay, he needs, a, he, he needs that. He tried. That's what he needed to do. He needed a strike, but Bobby, Bobby closed the distance. So. Bobby looks like he's landing some knees to the body. Yeah. You know what, though, all in all, first fight, good job for both of them. You know, it would have been... 
a whole different fight. They came in here wanting to do MMA, you know, so. Right. Instead of the pancreation, they. Well, if you don't get your blood work back, that's what happens. Yeah. Like I said, econolabs.com. <laughs> and I'm not getting anything from them. I got to pay every time. There Ten you go. Seconds left. Ten seconds. Come on, stand up, Bobby. Get up. Good job. I'll give that one to. I'd give all three to Bobby with the submissions. I agree. Attempts. I think Bobby won all three rounds. Good fight, though. Good fight. They both came out and worked the whole time. It's good when you don't put your hands on your knees until the to the end. So. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for both fighters. Out of three rounds of action, it has come down to the judges' scorecards. All three judges are in agreement, declaring your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Bobby Claw.